What's up, guys? So, um, today, uh, the, um, today's video that I can tell is gonna be a rant on, um, video game fanboys. Um, as you can see here, this is the first 15 minutes of the gameplay of, um, Strider. It is a free to plus game, so, uh, definitely, uh, I figured you want to change the pace compared to the normal gameplay of the Watch Dogs. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that while I talk about the current topic, which is a rant on video game fanboys. Um, so today, we live in a generation where there's going to be a bunch of fanboys, uh, whether it's on the technology of iPhones, or cars, or music, but since this is a video game channel, I'm going to be talking about the video game fanboys, and it's always been like this since back in the history of video games, back since the Super Nintendo and N64, NES, and all that other stuff. But, you know, I just want to complain about it, because it's now, before it was okay, but now it's getting that serious. As of now, we have our Sony fanboys, who are our Microsoft fanboys, and our Nintendo fanboys. And they, honestly, at times, get extremely cocky. Which, which at times, if they, just, if they just like the system, it's okay. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. But, you know, you shouldn't have to um, put the other system down. Especially Xbox Microsoft fanboys. You know, I remember back in the uh, the Xbox 360 days, a lot of my friends they were a bunch of 360 fanboys saying, "Oh, um, we get the better online service, and um, we have this, we have that, and oh, we didn't get hacked." And they act like the Xbox 360 was a perfect hating. Now I have to admit, I am a Sony guy, which is why I have the PS3 and the PS4. But hey, I had the original Xbox and an Xbox 360. And um, I didn't really complain, and I, I actually didn't mind having both systems. I enjoyed having both systems. I realized they both had their pros and cons. I remember back when I first got the PS3, I told myself, "Hey, I'm not gonna buy a 360. I'm gonna stick to Sony." But as a multiplayer gamer, that didn't really um, work out. <laughs> I wound up buying the uh, um, both systems at some point. Um, obviously, I played both, and I realized, you know what? There's no point having both. I decided to trade in my 360 towards the PS4. If you haven't watched my previous video, they had a GameStop deal, and I did it. And I got all the stuff they took for $120. Um, and yeah, honestly, fanboys are really getting annoying. We all gotta understand. We have to start respecting our opinion on, you know, their choice of platform. Um, some people like. You know, some people, like even PC fanboys are getting annoying too. They'd be like saying Steam is this, graphics are better, games are cheaper. We understand that, but like, come on guys, you know, like, PC ain't perfect, no console's perfect. You know, I hate ex I hate fanboys, they just piss me, they ruin the beauty of gaming. Now it's nice to have some debate on which console's better, but to be a fanboy about it, just not admit the system's any good, because Let's take this generation for example. The PS4 focuses completely on gaming. Obviously, as you can tell, because I could use this share factory feature and um, you know all the other stuff. You can, I, and um, you know, it focuses on resolution. The resolution of graphics are better. Everything's better. Xbox One. They're being under the. In, I'm. I'm a Sony fanboy. I'm admitting my fan. <sighs> I'm not a Sony fanboy. I um, I'm a Sony fan, not a fanboy. Like I, per I'm a fan of Sony, and I have to admit, I give credit to Microsoft for um, trying to be innovative in their uh, system. You know, um, they're trying to be all-in-one entertainment system, but their problem is they focus too much all the other aspects but gaming. You know, it's cool to have voice commands. It's cool to have the snap feature. Um, it's cool for like the if you use an Xbox record that it's cool and all but focus on the game You're a video game console not an entertainment console. That's why we have Apple TV. That's why we have DVRs We people buy your Xbox to play games um, Sony they're not that perfect either, you know, especially the share factory like I say It's not guaranteed that I had this all this gameplay for you guys to see You know you fix that um, you know, there are some bugs with these systems. The Wii U. I have to give it credit. It has a solid exclusive, um, exclusive title lineup. Super Mario 3 World, uh, Donkey Kong Tropical Breeze, 
Zelda, Wind Waker HD, Pikmin 3. Um, they have all these amazing games and they're exclusives, but there's only eight of them. You know, Nintendo needs to get more third party support. If they are going to get themselves compatible with Sony and Microsoft, they need to step up their game. They need to have dedicated online servers. They have online servers, but it's not that great. They need to fix that. They need more third party support. That's always been their problem since the GameCube. Third party support. You need third party support to get yourself back to Super Nintendo days. Because I respect Nintendo for their old days, the golden days of the NES and the Super Nintendo. Back when everyone loved Nintendo, now everyone's like, Nintendo's for Luke. You know? Yes, step up your game. I love Mario and Zelda, but still. You know, it's gonna take more than Mario Kart 8. It's gonna take more than a new Super Smash Bros. to save your self in the new generation, from this generation. Um, so basically, yeah. Fanboys are annoying. I admit myself, the PS4 isn't perfect. No console is perfect. And I know, I know I'm just going around in circles, if you notice that just in case, but, you know, I'm just saying that raw emotion. You know, as this generation, we need to, to respect our um, decisions these days. Yeah, it's good to have debate, it's good to have a variety, it's good to have competition, because if only one system wins, then there's no competition, so... Stop the fanboy things, you know. I am I know I'm a hypocrite myself. I bash the 360 Xbox all the time. I personally think that they're money greedy bastards. You know what I mean? But if you buy an Xbox One or Wii U or a PC, you chose those systems over the PS4 and you are having they're extremely fun with the system, game on. That's cause you know, in the end, we are all gamers. We all just wanna sit down on the couch hold our controller and play some games you know multi plats we always we all get the same games with slight differences we all play Call of Duty Ghost we all play Assassin's Creed we all play uh, Far Cry we all play Watch Dogs you know it's just you know it just gets very annoying and um yeah that's pretty much it uh thank you guys for um um thank you guys for uh tuning in with me um I know this video is rather long, but hey, I barely get this long recording, so enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Uh, let me know what you think of the new intro. I decided to try the Battlefield Hardline intro. Um, enjoy the uh, the six minutes of gameplay left. For those of you who want to watch it, you know, this is Strider. This is a, a free for PlayStation Plus users. It's actually not that, not that bad of a game. Anyhow, enjoy the rest of the gameplay. I hope you guys get the point. Bottom line is, respect each other's decisions. That's all I gotta say. I face the whole emphasis of this video. Respect each other's decisions. We're all gamers in the end. And keep calm, there is one for you. Peace.